Rated M for Mature. Hi guys and welcome to a special edition of No Fighting in the War Room. I'm joined today with a special guest which is uh, i3 Rizzy, Mr. Bradley Gould, a founder member, a little child, and now being a love worm, say hello Bradley. <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Brad, as Arthur says. I am a video editor slash producer for Rebellion Development. Uh, you may know our games such as Aliens vs Predator or Sniper Elite. And with us today also is a young man who talks an awful lot and will be edited out quite as much. Uh, it's Dave. Say hello. Hi, Dave from Point Man Reviews. Heard me before and uh, I like guns a lot. I, I like guns. All the guns! <laughs> um, okay, um... First of all, apologies, we're recording this at the all-nighter, so if there's some background noise, some gunfire going off, it's, it's the guys and girls there playing here tonight. Um, this is the first podcast we've done in a while, uh, and a lot's happened. Obviously, it's been the, has, E3 has happened. E3, E3, E3 has, happened. has been and gone. So we're going to talk about a lot of things. Uh, we're going to talk about the Xbox One, the PS4, the games we saw or what games we didn't see, um, and just general chat, a load of rubbish. Um, so what, what should we start with? Should we start with um, the console reveals? I think. Uh, I think we should just start off with... Which one did you prefer? Ooh, okay. <laughs> uh, Let's get the biggest question out there. Okay. Straight away. Right, well, I watched E3. Um, obviously, prior to that, I'd seen the, the PS4 reveal in February, which showed the controller, and then I saw the Xbox One reveal, uh, which showed uh, the TV. Uh, and, then I watched E3, <laughs> and, then I watched, and then I watched E3. Um, I thought Xbox's um, actual show at E3 was really good. Uh, and then I watched PS4s, and obviously... The, the way they did their show, it was amazing, and they they did they, they generally took a massive dump down Microsoft's throat. What what were you talking about here? Because when I was watching, I was getting really bored during it. If it was if the actual way they did the conference just wasn't as exciting to watch, but it was, 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 was key towards though. Like Xbox is very keyed. The original one, the original release, was very keyed to mums and dads saying, "Look, this isn't just a console; yeah. it's an entertainment system." Whereas PlayStation went, "Gamers, we love you." Well, see, this, this is the thing. You asked me a question, which I prefer, right? And I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it now. And it's not because I'm a fanboy; it isn't. It generally isn't. I'm a gamer. That's the first thing about me. Anyone knows me, and I, the honest answer is, I'm a gamer first and foremost. The console I'm going for is the Xbox One, and I'll tell you why. Um, out of two consoles, I always look to see uh, where innovation is taking place and where you're going to push forward. Um, I look at PS4, and I make no mistake, it's going to be a great console. It's going to be an amazing console for gamers. However, Xbox One is generally pioneering. It's looking at where we're going to be in 10 years' time. And everybody, no matter what all the haters want to say, and what everyone wants to go in there and you know and, and light, their, light their fires and hug their trees and turn around and say, you know, it's not fair, and no, oh, God, man, we can't trade games. Everything's going to go online. In the next 10 years, that's what's going to happen. And I want to be on that console that's designed from the ground up to be there for it. Um, and I think what all Sony did... In bearing in mind, it's four and a half hours if you take in the February's account and E3's account, is talk about what they plan to do. They never showed their console running. In four and a half hours, they never showed that console running. And I'm very, very wary of a company that will not talk about their console. All they seem to do is gear their conference around what people wanted to hear. That's not to say I'm not stupid enough to think Microsoft didn't do the same thing like you said. Microsoft, on this conference, you could almost see... You can almost hear the guns prime to shoot anyone on that stage that mentioned TV. It yeah. was like, you know, you mentioned TV once, and that fucker's going to die. Uh, yeah. And it, it never happened. On the flip side, when you saw Sony's conference, how uncomfortable were they when they were talking about the media aspect? Which is clearly <laughs> yeah. a massive part of that console, right? Make no mistake, people, both those consoles are there to do the same thing. They're both doing media centers and games consoles. They're, they're a home entertainment system. Both of those consoles are exactly that. Xbox One, for me, looked like, I know what I'm getting with Xbox. I know what I'm getting online. I know what I'm going to get in the future. I'm staying with Xbox. The other thing is, Xbox One, they seem to tell you up front the good and the bad mm -hmm. coming from the UK perspective, the which is the UK perspective, we're not going to have everything available from the very start. It doesn't mean we won't in the future, but from the very start, we won't. Whereas in the PlayStation, when they started talking about TV and things, they were saying we've got this Amazon service where they do video and Crackle. Hulu and stuff like that, which actually aren't available in the UK yet. Yep. So there's no it's way really we're actually going to be able to get them. But they skipped over that whole point of they won't all be able to Do you know what, though? Do you, do you think it's because of PS4 is region free? Do you think that's what it is? Or yeah, it, but am I being they're still here? using the services yes, that we that, don't have. Yeah, we oh, don't have. Okay. So it doesn't matter. Like a computer is region free, but it doesn't mean I can instantly get. Yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm, I'm learning. I, I don't so, know. I don't know if that what it means. I just think it was a bit sly on PlayStation's part just to go look at all these great services we're doing. But the Xbox does require an extra box for the TV services. Yes, it does. And they still is yet to explain but why see, they're getting that extra price tag. Yeah, the well, th there is this whole thing about it's the tax that but when they buy. Yeah, well, I, I know. No, yeah, I know no, you're no, going to no, say it's, it's not. It's what? genuinely because they the UK us. 
actually is classed as a richer country at the minute. We well, are classed as we. It's the the people who are getting the worst deal. More. Yeah, our currency is worth more. And actually, who's getting the worst deal is the Australians. I read an article on IGN only the other day that the Australians are actually being charged ridiculous amounts compared to what UK and I, I think, are. yeah, I think no, of all the things, and, I've, and I have looked at all the different things, just when I spent a long time, I put a tweet out the other day, I think it was about a week ago, after Monday, saying, I'm like a Jedi, I'm going to go into a cave now. And rather than just making an announcement, I'm just going to meditate on all the facts. And the one thing I can't get over is the price. The price of the Xbox One is the only sticking point for me. However, as I've said it with Xbox Live, and it's, you get what you pay for. Now, I believe I'm going to get a much better service as a gamer with Xbox One paying extra money. Do I think it's fair with paying more than the Americans? Not at all. I, um, I will never agree with that statement. I, and I do generally think it's Microsoft making a cheap, cheap buck out of us because all right, they can't... cheap. Them. That's the thing. Yeah, but the, yeah, uh, we're a more affluent country. And I think, I think that's paying out of order. That said, don't get me wrong, I'm not, I'm not hating on the PS4 at all, right? All I see the PS4 is, though, from my perspective, is the PS4 is uh, a graphically superior PS3. They give you, If you like your PS3... Go and grab yourself a PS4. That's what they're offering you. Don't, don't get me wrong. I want both consoles. Yeah, I yeah. You're right now. Both. I, God, I want them both right now. Yeah. But when I say which one I prefer, is more saying which one I want to get first. Yes. Which I'm saying for me. I, oh well. So far, we've heard you want the Xbox One straight away. I you asked me Xbox first. I didn't jump first. in, man. You asked me. I, mean, I know. I know. <laughs> don't and come on this show, man. Don't come and on this only show only and be a dick. <laughs> All right. You do enough <laughs> of that in the real world without coming here and trying to weld your dick. Yeah. Okay. And um, so you want you also want the Xbox One. I want the Xbox One first, but I want both. Okay. Uh, Dave. I'm, I'm a bit torn. Cool. Cheers. So that's. Uh, <laughs> 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 Sorry, Dave. Um, I'm a bit torn. I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna have to wait for like six months because there's an awful lot of like as we were discussing the other day, we we're saying Sony's PR machines are a lot better at lying to you. Than oh, I, and are. they're not lying. They're just admitting stuff. I don't. It, <laughs> it's it, 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 kind of like a, there's a car. It's got four wheels. Does have an engine. Moving on. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, they're not lying. They're not. I don't think. I don't. Lying is a strong word. And I don't think Sony have lied to us. Okay, they're they've hiding truths. Uh, well, they've kind of painted the best possible picture for their product. Yeah. Okay. So, so PR, they've got better PR. Yes, machines. without a doubt, their PR literally took a judo kick to Microsoft's face and just then then shut in his mouth. But <laughs> um, lovely but, image. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not sure until I've seen like all of this completely like the smoke's cleared. So Microsoft's yeah. officially turned around, going right. This is what you are getting. We may have changed some things, whatever, and Sony's gone, actually, you know how we said X? You're now getting a bit of this. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, I think it was that, that whole thing about, they said there's no DRM for, uh, for you know, the people were chanting Sony and stuff. Like that. And it's great, you know. I'm glad those people got involved and um, that were journalists and were meant to be remain impartial. I'm glad they got involved <laughs> and started chanting names. So if you are one of those people, take a long, hard look at yourself in the mirror because you're a journalist. You're supposed to be there for the gamers and remaining impartial. So well done. Um, but... If you, you're right. I mean, Sony did that whole thing. There's no DRM, there's all this sort of stuff. And then literally the next day, they went, well, there might be DRM for the online stuff if the publishers announce it. Make no mistake. DRM is coming to both consoles, right? Because the publishers publishers do not want used games uh, circulation. It's it's initially, it just halves their profits or quarters their profits. Mm. Um, Now, I'm not standing up for the big corporations. What I am saying is, I do understand that. I think it's fair. If they've made a product and they're selling it, um, should I sell one product and then have it go to fifteen people? If I've made, if I was, if I'd made that product, I'd be a bit upset. I'd want fifteen people yeah. to pay for that product. Now I understand that, and it's like, well, you know, it's a freedom. My, it's, I bought it. It's mine. I can do what I want with it. I understand that, but you can't have your cake and eat it. You can't bemoan the loss of small companies like THQ that make some great games and other companies that disappear Come into the ether. Yeah, they, they disappear into the ether because that is what happens. They don't have the money that big companies have to market their game. So that game is by word of mouth of their friends, then gets traded or bought pre-owned. That small company that made that great game gets none of that money, and so therefore they close. You know, that nobody that? wants the big, only the big corporations no, left because I don't. they're the only people that have the money to be able to, it, to, to, to afford to have this whole used game market. It's a PR and joke. Yeah, that's, exactly. and that's money that's from it. That's why PC gaming, I think, does have a slight edge because stuff places like Steam, which is where you can pick up small um, developers, small publisher games yep. that are amazing. And, yep. But they're at small publishers, small development prices as well, so you get what you pay for. No, no, exactly. and, I, and, I, and, I, and I get that, and it's like, look at Square Enix, right? They made they made Final Fantasy, obviously, they made Hitman, and they made Tomb Raider, right? They were quickly acclaimed games, and I played all of those games. I hate Final Fantasy, so I'm never going to like it, right? So, But Tomb Raider, amazing, as was um, 
uh, Hitman, but yet they take they took massive losses purely for this reason. Everyone was buying their games in a sale or pre-owned or trading it amongst their friends, and so therefore they, they suffered massively. Um, when I look at and the thing that made me laugh is that they, the guy that makes Abe uh, or, or made Abe, made Abe's on it. It's a big thing on, on, on PS4 at the moment, and basically. Everyone's celebrating Abe's on PS4 and it's great. And this guy's gone and said, I'm not going to Xbox One because they demand I have a publisher and I'm not going to do this. I'm fighting a good fight. And I'm like, hang, hang on, hang the fuck on. I looked at Abe, right? And yeah, it's Abe and I'm happy Abe's back and it's great. However, fuck you, mate, because basically what you're saying is I'm going to make you buy the same game that I made five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years ago again, right? For the same <laughs> price or like eight, nine pounds, right? And all I've done is pre up a little bit, and it doesn't even look that great. So you can't sit on one side and tell me you're great and you're there for the gamer, while essentially you're asking the same people that bought your game 10 years ago to buy it again. So fuck off and well, stop I'm standing there and lying to everyone. Like XCOM or anything like that. Man. Hey, shut up, man. Don't, 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 <laughs> don't bring up that, that game's average. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, a oh, wild oh, Bryce Tacular has arrived yeah. into our podcast, unscheduled and unannounced. He looks fantastic, by the way. Uh, we'll put a picture up for you at some point. Say hello, Bryce. <laughs> hello, Bryce. Brilliant. <laughs> uh, we're we're talking about E3. Um, we're talking about consoles we'd like to buy. Yeah, man, that PS4 is sick. Yeah, there we go. Um, who, who, which one we want to go for? PS4, throw away, man. Do they're, for the gamers, they're for the gamers. They're for the gamers. I sense he may be being sarcastic. <laughs> but the fact is, I'm actually going to come in and tell you that day I might as well turn it on here. I'm actually getting an Xbox One. You build it today? Yes. Okay. okay. It didn't work, so I'm going to get one of the Okay, well, you might be here because we're a little bit far and you're talking really Good. quietly. Good. Brilliant. Okay, um, so so that, 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 that's where I'm. We, you said Xbox One, I was Xbox yeah. One. You said Xbox wait. You're going to wait. wait, and Bryce has said Xbox One. Well, um, he ordered his Xbox One. Well, yeah, but he's obviously going to buy it. I don't think he'd want to get PS4 and then pre order Xbox One, unless he's no, I'm as retired as he looks. Um, I still want both, though. Yeah, I'd like both. I still think they, they look quality. They are very expensive. They, I mean, yeah. I, I mean, again, the price for PS4, £350. Fantastic, but you don't get the camera, which is something they didn't speak about at all. They revealed it, yeah. but never spoke about it. Out these people in front, in charge of the back front. Um, okay, Bryce is handing <laughs> up. Um, just, just leave me alone. Um, right, so, so yeah, so Bryce, I think is going to be a sticking point. I think we're going to see some. Um, I think, I think we're going to see some movement on um, the price of PS4. So Bryce is distracting everybody now. He hooked in and just, you're just messing up this yeah, podcast, right? This? this is going smooth. As I'm anything. doing, I'm doing the main thing and getting a drink. What do you want? Uh, I'll have a uh, pint of vodka. Thank you. Oh, this is, uh, second of all, I just want to point this out. I don't mean to break the flow of the podcast. I hope the first twenty minutes. First twenty you minutes. You want to break the laptop? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. First twenty minutes must have been about his hair. No, he's it, mate. You can't talk. He has the same haircut. No, nah, there's, there's something wrong there. Uh, we're also joined by the stunning Julie, who is uh, Bryce's other half. Julie, who looks better? She said oh, Bradley. Oh, she said Bradley. Oh my God! She said Bradley. Oh, God. Bad she said Bradley. <laughs> there we go. Bryce is no, literally no, in tears. Is that you just the fact you just you look here and you just what are you done? You look, it, you look like someone has accidentally run over your head with a Hoover at some point. Just literally, not even got the actual nozzle. Just literally run straight into your head. I'd accept that if it was coming from him, but when you're standing He's there with that, <laughs> oh, when you're standing there him. with that, yeah, I think Greatness. there may be a fight at some point. <laughs> if there is, I'll call it you blow by blow. Been, My hair would kick your head. Face Here we go. Bradley <laughs> is blowing Alan. Bradley <laughs> is blowing Alan. The fight has started. Alan looks intense. You look like you've had sex Bradley him. blows him. That's what you look like. You look like an. Oh, I'm not denying I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> After sex, bed head with half. That's what that is. Wow, this podcast has gone downhill rapidly. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Bryce. Um, you talk about like publishers, and you talk about how like um, yeah. So, so, so I, I was just saying that we, we, I think the last thing I spoke about was was price for PS4. So, um, we don't make talking about price. First of all, you said they are they're both expensive, which they are. However, yeah, looking at what you're getting for this price, oh, yes. Try and play like we watch some great games being played. Try and find a gaming PC that can play them at them thing. And bear in mind, these games were being played on PC at E3, but they are being played in engine. So yes. that is how they will be seen on yep. a console. And I might add that Brady does work for a publisher. Yeah. So, yeah, so, so, so he knows I, I how this, this these... stuff works. Who's the latest rumor? Uh, Come out today. Come out from four. Uh, no. It will not be running 60 frames a second on Xbox. Oh. Xbox 360 or Xbox One. One. Yeah, but who said that and where that rumor come from? I don't know. It's a see, like this I don't. See the thing. Some is, crack I, addict down an alley told me <laughs> it won't be running in 360 if I don't buy his ketamine. <laughs> <laughs> Still rather trust him than you. 
Just so, okay, so you talk about the price thing before um, about that, and you're saying how like the PlayStation uh, Four is going to come without the camera at that price. However, the 360 did come as an arcade or a premium price, and I did like that ability. The fact that you could basically choose. Okay, I don't have the money at the moment to buy this at full price with the hard drive with everything. Okay, I can only afford to buy the arcade with a little. Yeah, I, I know. You're, I know. You're, yeah. So. I'd prefer that. I'd prefer if I could buy the Xbox One without Connect because I'm not going to use it. Well, no, see, this, this, is no. this is the difference. This is where my big argument is with everybody online. The world, in fairness. I don't know if you're with me or not on this, but I'll tell you what right? That Connect, right, is designed. They made a bold statement. They said, you know what? Our future is gaming and it's the in integrated Connect with the machine, right? And it's how it's going to work, okay? And your, your, your money is basically you get the, the system with a Connect and that Connect does all these extra features your Xbox One, Xbox One, which people laugh about. But I guarantee within fucking two days of having that console, that's all they'll be doing, is doing Xbox on, they'll be yeah. snapping windows towards it, right? However, the PlayStation 4, yeah, it's £350 without the iToy, okay? And they're saying, you don't have to have it, and they're giving that choice. My argument with that is, their controller has a functionality that is directly linked to the iToy, built into the controller. Now, if that iToy was not so integral to that machine, why is that functionality built into their controller? The most key piece to any gaming apparatus you have for your console, there is fundamental parts that iToy built into that controller. They haven't mentioned it because they've seen the backlash from Connect. What Microsoft have done on the flip side said, you know what, here's Connect. It's a lot better than original Connect, and it's coming with your console. Your controller, you can either use your controller or you can use Connect. Sony again, yeah, you can use your controller, it has these functionalities in it. I guarantee you, right, to get the most out of your PS4, you're going to have to use your iToy, which you're going to have to buy, which is going to bring the price up to nearly enough 400 pounds, right? I'm not knocking that at all. I'm just saying. It's not, and I'm not lying, it's a tale of massage the facts. And I think you're going to get a great experience. How much that camera is? $44. $59. Okay, $59, $44. But okay, it'll, so it'll still bring it up near enough to £400 mark. That's what I'm saying. I'm not disputing the fact that it would give you the better gaming experience to have that camera and you'd be fully utilising the PlayStation 4. What I'm saying is I like the fact that they've effectively given you the option of having it. Which I know you're saying, well, Microsoft's basically going, well... We Wait, yeah, no, but hang on, Dave... The camera is part of the machine. It's not an add-on. It is part of That's Xbox One. Is it? No, but it's not. Okay. It's not add-on. Connect is an integral part of the machine. It's built from the ground up to work with you Connect. Know what I'm yeah, yeah, Connect for. He's bending over and showing my anus just in case they decide to look at my problem. Mate, I guarantee you there is nobody, <laughs> but nobody wants to look in your front room. And I, and I also make this better for you now, right? I guarantee you within six months of you owning an Xbox One, you will come back to me and you will say, it's a great bit of tech. I guarantee I'll make this better for you right now. Take the bet. If, you, if you're this guarantee, if you're this cocksure about how shit Connect is on ah, Xbox One yeah. or how you're not going to use it, you make this bet me right now because I guarantee you within six months you will be talking to your no, Xbox see, and use uh, its full functionality. I'm not saying, and I think Russell, we're not saying that it's not a great piece of kit, and we're not saying. That yeah, no, you're, you're saying you want it as an option. You can't have something which is integrally built into the machine as an option. It's like saying it's like saying you can buy your car without wheels if you want. But yeah, you can't use your car. Yeah, but no, but what do you call it? It's like for the 360. Never mind. Fuck yourself. Yeah, you think, you think like what? When you, when you had to get this generation console, you didn't have a high def TV, you'd have a broadband, you'd fuck yourself. But people still bought them, and people moved on. You can't live, you can't limit your expectations by living in the dark ages. What no, Microsoft does is they're pushing forward. No, Sorry, no, Dave. What I'm saying is, when you bought the 360, when it first came out, you had the option of, like I said, premium and arcade, okay? Now, you basically need. Not when it came out. When it came out, you could get Xbox 360, mate. No, you had the option of no, you didn't. the massive hard drive. No, you didn't. Not. It was a 20 gig hard drive. It was a standard Xbox 360 when it came out. Yeah, no, it was. The, okay. the arcade edition came later on, Dave. Okay, apologies then. But even still, that functionality is what I like. The fact that people... I know people who could not afford the 360 premium with their hard drive and could only afford the arcade. Yeah. So they got an arcade and then went out and when they could afford it, bought a hard drive. Now, you needed the hard drive to basically... Go online. But, and, yeah. Well, you basically needed it. You just had to have it. You yeah. couldn't really last... So what's your point? Because they had the option of buying it later. But they didn't have it, the option at the start. At the start of its cycle, it was just a product. And they realised that people wanted No, they didn't realise. Like, they just gave the so option later on. Well, at, at, the, at the start of its cycle, you're asking for, at the start of this cycle, to buy a console without an integral piece of its, its work. The Connect is no... So give you the option. It can't be an option to buy the console. I said buy the console without a control pad. Or you can have it, <laughs> but you can't use it. It's the most ridiculous argument in the universe. This console has been designed architecturally, which I'm impressed I can say that word. Yeah, yeah, right? From the ground up to use Connect. If you didn't turn around and say, I want an option where I don't have Connect. All right, fair enough. I'll do what I'll do. I'll buy two Xbox, three, uh, uh, Xbox Ones, right? I'll remove the Connect of one of them and I'll sell it to you. 
for 400 pounds, saving you 30 quid, Dave. And then you can come back to me and buy my Connect off me because it won't work. And I'll select you for 90 pounds, costing you 60 pounds. How does that sound to you, Dave? Sound what? ridiculous? So a bit ridiculous is your argument. But the process for you don't have to have it. Yes, it is integral. Yes, it is built and designed around it. But you don't have to have it. Right, okay. But the Xbox. But that's their mission statement. Yes. And Microsoft's mission statement is we're going to down a different right. road. You, I, you, I was just saying, I would like them to have no, the same this, this is a good argument. I know. This, no, this is a good argument. I this is what the internet is having right now, right? Yeah. And what the internet is missing is Microsoft saying, we have made a mission statement whereby we are going this road. And we believe our tech is good enough to go this road, okay? Yeah. And what they're also saying, which I think is fair enough, if you don't like it, don't buy it, all right? But what I also say is I guarantee you in six months' time, you'll look at that console and go, you know what? It's actually really good. And we made a mistake. I think Microsoft have predicted where we're going to be in a couple of years' time. And so Microsoft's they've made, they've, the, they've, they've made the change. Sure you're there. No, but yeah, they've made rich. the change. <laughs> sure. They've made the change as early as possible. So PlayStation will realise this soon enough and they'll bring it in where you cannot use the PlayStation 4 without the eye, I don't think the eye joke, which will it. eventually happen. So Microsoft just got in there early so people can get used to it and then by the time people are used to it and then PlayStation 4 comes in, everyone's going, well, why have we now got to be made to do this? Whereas the Xbox One has had it the whole time. I, 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 I was, what I was saying is, I don't believe the PlayStation will work effectively and properly without the iToy. I just, I prefer to have the option. You can, that. you can prefer. This is so. This is honestly, it's like talking to a brick wall, right? How they have built. I just want the option. I don't. Right. Okay. I don't care. You have to listen, right? That console is built that way from the ground up, right? It's not an option to have it. I don't. You want it? They couldn't have made the Xbox One the way the Xbox One is. Without I'm it. Not disputing that. I'm just you are. You, you want the option. You can't have it, Dave. You can't have the option. I gather that. I still would like it. Just like I'd love to sleep with Kate Beckinsale. I can't, but I still would like you to. You can. I've got a brick and a Hessian sack. <laughs> <laughs> Give me two weeks and I'll make your wish come true. So that's where we all stand on the consoles. Basically, so angry. Just spoke We're all angry. For 25 minutes. Uh -huh. And so far, I kind of like the Xbox okay. One. Games. <laughs> games. Games. Which games was a surprise? Um, Spark. 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 No, 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 Spark. no, no, no. It's, 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 yeah, if it worked, how it's not worked. A nice yeah, surprise, yeah, yeah. and which one was a bad surprise, depending on what you saw? I won't go first, because I took phrases, obviously. My so. my first surprise I liked was uh, Rise, Son of Rome. Really? Yeah. I looked the, the second I saw that game, I was like, I want it now. It's, it's not the generic modern war, sort of loads of guns everywhere type of thing. It's something different, and it looks and looks... Like it could play really well at the same time. Rise, what did you think of it? Rise? Yeah. Rise, Sun and Rhyme. You had a quick time event game. Rise <laughs> of the quick time. Press Y, press X. Mate, press have y. they not learned that no one gives a flying fuck about quick time yet? Do you know my biggest worry about Rise is? I've seen maybe one game that's done it alright and that's about it. Which was that? I think it was Spider Man 2. Wow. Well, um, <laughs> oh, Spider Man 2 is a cracking game. No, not denying that, but that's bring out the hat. Dave, Rise? I in fairness, I actually, even though I've seen like loads of photos of it, it looks like a yeah, I didn't actually get to see the trailer. All right, okay. Um, oh, my only worry, with Rise, is if you look at its history, it was born to be a Connect game, a Connect fighting game, made by Crytek, mm -hmm. um, and it isn't a Connect fighting game anymore. So it looks like well, it was. Can you it imagine was, trying to? No, no, no. That. But it could have been really cool. Yeah. It could have been really cool. It was like really brutal. Like, the, the, so well. I mean, the original trailer. Yeah. Oh god. The yeah. original trailer was like he, he sort of stabbed this guy and his guts came out. It was like, oh, a Connect game. It's really gory. My only worry is that because it's now no longer a Connect game, how much time do they spend investing in making it a Connect game? Then to decide it's wrong, and now we're rushing it for a release of Xbox One. I just don't know. It, it looked like there was a lot of cute uh, quick time events going on, and I was just not sold in the whole. Rise. It looked it looked really pretty, but I was just like I'm a bit worried. Well, I, that I personally just really like the look of it, and just thought I want to play it now. So okay. that was my good surprise. Okay, my, surprise. Bad one, uh, my bad surprise isn't a game. Oh, it's the DVR. Oh, uh, this is important. Yeah, because Brad, Bradley isn't editor. So explain why you didn't like the DVR. Is this for both consoles or just the Xbox? Well, I haven't seen it I on the it PlayStation 4. 4 yet. It is in PS4. I, I haven't seen it properly yet, so. I'm However, it's just, it seems as if they've got it there, but it's going to have restrictions on it. Yeah, I, I think so. And but so, do you know say, an on-the-fly, no, because but an on-the-fly type of all, I want control of what I'm recording, what I'm doing. It's like having a camera and saying, okay, you can only shoot it if you watch it this yeah, way. See, yeah, yeah and I agree with what you're saying, but then on the flip side, I look at it like um, how cameras are now. If you want to like, do casual photography, you've got your camera phone or whatever. 
Oh, it's 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 yeah, but what I'm saying is, though, if you want to be serious about it, you need a DVR or and your own one. You have to I, think, own. I think it's brilliant for... It can, like, it can open the world to a lot of people to enjoy editing, maybe. Yeah. And, and give they say editing, it. but all they've actually said is you could potentially cut it in a section. You choose yeah. the section you want, no, and yeah, then they'll add the end section and start section. It's, it's a novelty. So there's isn't no it? actual editing. It's, it's You're a, learning. It's not, that is definitely editing. <laughs> <laughs> not really. That's Bryce's no. editing. Look, just, you're it's about as good as your editing. Cutting. Yeah. So you oh, like the look of Rise, and you did not look of the DVR in the machines. It's not that I didn't like the look of it. It's just I don't think they've done it to what they should have done. If they had have done it, is in. Is but do you know they never take like, a huge amount of approach? Because I know how hot and how hard that it works my laptop when you're doing editing on this. Do you not think to put a full editing suite into well, no, a console a would have just like burnt out all the CPU? Oh, Bruce, Bruce, you're a, you're a professional editor. How much your PC cost? Two and a half thousand. So that's my point. I, I think much, it's great to be the casual second gamer. Point, second point. How much do even the basic high definition video capture device cost nowadays? Best part of over a hundred. Pounds. But why don't they put them in as an? See, as a and how much knowledge do you need to edit anything? That because, like, you know, how you yeah, have the these are all granted. These are all granted things. However, for the simplicity, but no one's restricting you. No, no, but no one's stopping you from doing what you used to do. Yeah, that's what I mean. Unless that's like, nobody, unless no, 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 no. they do what the Apple yeah, products do sure. and have the HDMI. Uh, I've forgotten what it is. Where you, if you plug it into a, a third-party device, it won't work. Uh, which they could I, 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 yeah okay but they haven't announced it and However, in fairness yeah. they, I'm sure they haven't announced anything it. About it so, so it may or may not Bryce what was your, yeah. your what was your uh, um, most happy to see or uh, surprised by I was surprised by how shit Ubisoft's conference was okay fair enough <laughs> yeah, it was a bad conference wasn't it it was yeah. really dull do you think it's because they gave Watch Dogs and Assassin's Creed to it was, PS4? In fairness, in, in fairness to Ubisoft, they had some cracking games there, but what they actually had is they basically just gone, oh, we, well, we sold a lot of stuff, good stuff for everyone else. So, um, crack set legs that? as well. Here's, here's, here's us talking for four hours and some crack it, dancing. Are you sure? Cole. Cole. Whatever her yeah, name is, yeah. yeah. So, you weren't happy with Ubisoft because it was dull. It was really dull, wasn't it? It was kind of dull. Kind of but from what was it last game? Uh, that's what I was about to come to. That was my surprise. Uh, that's. Oh, hang on, we'll come to you then. What, what was you? So you didn't like. So you got two things you don't like. I didn't like most of it, friends. Really? Well, I kind of like my own main problem is yeah, the, the launch know. of the next two consoles. There are far too many games for me to play. Really? So I'm, I'm the other way. I don't think there's that many games I want to play next gen. When you first buy the Xbox, what do you buy? Uh, Dead Rising Three. And. Dead Rising Three. It's, not it. it's not out until 2014. It's not launch title. Well, then they should have showed it. Well, my argument is that they showed a lot of great games that aren't out till next year when, when they know most of the Halo consoles. 5. Halo 5 is, is next year. What's actually being launched, Forza 5, Call of Duty Ghosts, Dead Rising 3, they're launch titles, I know, but everything else is 2014. But what's, so, what's its premier launch title? Because usually, like, a console launches with a game. Forza. Forza's done by Microsoft. Really? Studio. Well, why not? Because the driving market's niche, as Codemasters are showing, it's like, right, we're going to go with driving. They, need, think they know they need to go with the head on. They don't need an exclusive. They've got, they've got Call of Duty Ghosts in Ghost. They've got, they have Ghosts, which is a big seller. It's a massive seller. Oh, so, yeah. so what? what, what okay, so, so you, were, you were surprised by how dull Ubisoft stand was. What did you? What did you not like the look of? Um, I just don't like next gen. But yet you not, pre-ordered an Xbox One. Yeah, I got to have it. Doesn't mean I like it. Okay. Look, look, yeah, dead sometimes. So in that respect, it's a bit like anal. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's more the fact that I'm just everything changes in six months. Don't fight change, man. I will Don't fight, fight change. change. So you can't can't fight change. Uh, Dave, what have you got? <laughs> um, well, the thing I liked was actually, believe it or not, one of U Ubisoft's ones, which was <laughs> the division. <laughs> yes, that that was an amazing. Do you know what? It was a godsend. Uh, their their was conference like, was so, so bad. Oh, what's this? Was it? There's, there's a man. He looks really high definition. This, this is good. He looks sort of like. And you're like, mm, this is looking good. Oh, I was, I, I tell you what it was, it was, it was so dull. And then he went, oh, there's an apocalypse. And I was like, oh god. And there's a virus. I was like, oh god, it's going to be zombies again. And they went, it's not. It's a Tom Clancy based third person survival action thing. And I was like, oh. I just think, I oh, actually, okay. <laughs> I really like the storyline of it, which is, um, for those of you who didn't see it, basically a virus was released. Don't know by who, but probably a different country. On money, fucking Koreans. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Red Dawn. North Koreans, South Koreans, you're okay. <laughs> you're kind of cool. Uh, um, on money, and basically it spread all around the US, and they were getting infected and like worldwide and what have you. But then they had a whole load of sleeper cells, with like CIA, NSA, and whatever. 
for exactly the situation to come out and just keep law and order. And you're a member of one of these sleeper cells that is fighting basically like gangs, all that kind of stuff, to try and keep peace in New York, wherever. And the cover system, I mean, we were talking about it before. Amazing. At a police car, he takes cover behind it while she's being shot at. And there's a door open. And normally in most cover games, that means, all right, you can move up to the door and you can move to the bonnet. That's about it. Nope. As he moves along, shuts the door and then moves around. It was around. incidental details, wasn't it? It was, yeah. really, it was really well done. You could see it put a lot of love into that game whereby, it, like you said, they walked past, there's some water on the side and they just pick it up. It wasn't, it wasn't a action yeah. to pick it up. We just picked it up because they know that, that you need water to survive sort of thing. That's pretty cool. And what was, what was your biggest disappointment? Biggest disappointment? Um... I was kind of a bit annoyed, I guess, about just the lack of actual gameplay that was shown. There's a lot of CGI movies. There was an awful lot of like, and we're now going to show you, I think even it was um, Destiny. Destiny's like, and this is gameplay. And you're like, wow. And the gameplay, the first minute of the gameplay was an in-game movie of them actually arriving at the very first mission. Yeah. And you're like, so, so you want you to see more gameplay at yeah. E3? Do you think more will come out after the show? Yeah, it, it was just... It has. Lots, lots yeah, of I, 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 yeah. Lots of people have. Uh, E3 is very much a press event. It is what the press want to see and stuff like this. And then the well, public the is press, kind of second and I see thought. Gameplay. It's kind of a second thought, essentially, to E3. I think the more shows that are coming it's up... It's a Willy Waving enough, contest, isn't it? It's, yeah. It is a Willy Waving contest. Then we'll start to see more of the real stuff that the companies want to start showing to the public. Yeah. I think it's more just a waiting game before see, anything comes out. All right, and I'm plugging it, but obviously I write. Um, I have on a games oh, review. Oh, um, right, here we go. I've already said. I've already oh. said it. Yeah. www.pointmanreviews.co.uk. Dot com. It's dot com. He's up there, the big boys. Yeah. Um, and one of the things I do actually say on a couple of things on a couple of the articles is that the gameplay. I don't care how beautiful your like videos are, and what have you, because that shows me nothing. I mean, it might be funny. We had this on one of the previous podcasts. Um, aliens, Colonial Marines. Look Fuck at you, man. That game is okay. The, the game is okay. The game, the game is Sorry, fun. Dick. The game is fun, okay? And I'm not d- disputing that. It's the fact that everyone, these movies, this is amazing. This is going to look, and then gameplay. Oh, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, we can't drop the See, that. you say right. you don't want to see it, but I love seeing that type of stuff. My favourite, my favourite one of all time do. is the Assassin's Creed. These, like, proper CG trailers they do, where he... They saw um, the tunes, they had the tunes of yeah, the on, yeah. What was the one where he starts off with the eagle? All, All of them. Of them. <laughs> <laughs> Every single Assassin's Creed game ever yeah. starts oh, with an really eagle and a haystack. And he, he runs over the field on the horse yeah. and he just starts stabbing people in the face. That's every that's, Assassin's Creed. That's three. Yeah, yeah I'm not a huge Assassin's like Creed fan anyway, but I love the trailers. Of muskets fine. He's like, this rock will protect me. You haven't done um, yours. I know. I'm uh, well, I'm going to go out with another surprise. Uh, my... One of my biggest what? surprises, actually, was everyone's reaction yeah. to Call of Duty yes. Ghosts. Yes. I wasn't impressed with it. No, I think I mean, a lot of people... Dave. No, <laughs> no, a lot of people are coming out with the term interesting. I've heard this term so much, and I say, what do you think about Ghosts? And they're like, it's, it looks quite interesting. People you know are genuinely is? looking at it and going... Do you know what, right? I've, I've never been like... Um, I've never sat and gone, oh, it's the best thing ever or the worst thing ever. I always said it's, it's very good at what it does. It's and the and devil. You, 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 well, no, you, you, can, you can hate on it if you want, if you don't like it, right? But you can't deny it does gunplay really, really well. It's what it does, all right? I will, I will go on record saying the Black Ops 2 campaign did absolutely nothing for me. However, watching Ghosts, I'm genuinely intrigued about the single player campaign. I've got a dog, that, man. That's what, that's yeah, what I'm got a dog I, never, I like that. I like that because a real Special Forces team now. Does take a dog with them, even when they took out a summer. Oh god, he's off. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. When they took out a summer, they took a dog with them and what have you. No, I like the idea. No one gives a right, look, fuck look. about the single player. Let's yes, they do. Yes, no, 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 you're wrong. Cares. You're wrong. You're generally wrong. I do. Nobody well, plays that do. game for single player. If they do, not anymore. Not anymore. Yeah, hang on a minute. Not anymore. They don't. COD 4 people enjoyed the single player. COD, I didn't even know COD 4 single player. Is Modern Warfare 2? They enjoyed the single player. I, whenever I get a new Call of Duty game, I go straight to multiplayer. And but, then the campaign is something I'll think of after I've seen the way around this one. I'll be honest, it's the first time I've gone, I will play the single player campaign. And I think, you know, if that's what they're going for, in fairness to them, they're appearing to a bigger market. Well, the game them. did do that. I can't remember which game it was. We'll play it for about an hour and go. No, a, I reckon I played it all over again. This is a lovely bit of salad that goes with my steak. Why don't we just brush off yes, the plate? Yes, but there was a game, and, and I can't every remember. Every other moron 
that I have what I've actually got. Okay, well, we, we, we're, getting, so we're, getting, we're getting sidetracked a lot now by COD, so you were surprised with how good COD looks. Yeah. No, 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 I wasn't surprised at how good it looked. I'm surprised that he was just to it. it. Well, here, here's what I, what I liked and what I didn't like. So what I liked, what I was surprised with most, uh, there's two actually, so I'm going to cheat a little bit. Uh, Spark. I love the look of Spark, and because it was just, it was, I was ready to hate on it straight away. I was like, oh, it's going to be some shit kids game. And it just looked really, really cool. Lo loads of creativity, and I was like, you know what? Looks really, really good. So happy with this. Great. Um, Dead Rising 3. I was just like, wow, this game looks fucking insane. It's like, there's loads of zombies on screen, then there was loads more, then there was shit loads more, I love that. and then there was fuck tons more, and I was like, wow, this is cool. And then he was driving a car and making the weapons. I was like, yeah. I, I like Dead Rising 3. What I was most disappointed with um, was basically Destiny. That's okay. what I mean. It just I, I, no, it's not even. It wasn't the CGI. It was just. It was a really pretty shooter. <laughs> it looked like Defiance with no soul. Oh, it was the it just. Um, it had no soul at all to yeah. that game, and I'm sure it's great. I'm sure there'd be a great story that goes around it, but there's just nothing in that game to me that was like I'm gonna have to buy it. It looked great. It looked really pretty. I'm the the, the, the social yeah, stuff looked really cool, it was, but it lacks Halo's. Yeah, but it's got the same charm. sort of. It's got the same sort of cooperative thing as Defiance, which I don't think works, which is the way. It's, but I don't, yeah, but it's, it's not even that. It's, it's not even that. It's they allowed the hype machine to build itself up, and they had nothing not to stop it. The We're not, they're not performing. It's going to be a great game. It's going to be a very good MMO. Wherever it's going to be, people buy it because it's fun anyway. But it's not. It doesn't have that. It, doesn't, it hasn't gripped me. They showed this thing where they fought this big giant metallic crab, and I was like, "Well, that's that's the bad yeah, exciting." I, mean, I, I saw the same thing you did as you were sitting next to each other, funny enough. Yep. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and I I couldn't tell whether the game was just that boring or whether it was because people they playing it. Because they, but I said this as a, I don't know whether it's just because the way they're playing because he is any fucking far from that thing he's firing at. Yeah. And I'm like, is he doing that because they've told him? Stand here, look at all the stuff. I, I yeah. don't think he's playing it. I think he's looked like because there was a lot of problems on that stand um, with Assassin's Creed Four the thing hanging and crashing, and then Destiny sort of hung halfway through as well. And I think they, they were looking like they were playing it, but it was clearly running for video. I don't, I don't, I don't think it. to be funny, but the guy playing it, whoever was actually playing it, was not was not playing like as if you were actually playing the game. He was, he, you could see he was trying to, show, whoever it was with the big arm stage, he was trying to showcase it. Because, like, when his buddy went down. Yeah, no, no one walks around, yeah, but nobody walks around the map going, slow pan around the corner. Yeah, exactly, that's what I mean. <laughs> Look at the lighting. Yeah. It's like, Everyone's it, like, check corner, run, dive, halo jump, yeah, cod spin. <laughs> no one right where there. I can shoot this. Yes, nobody plays the game like that anywhere right. in the world. And, right, so we've, we've gone through what we like, what we don't like. Um, I'm not. We all picked the consoles we were going to pre-order. Uh, Dave's abstaining, which is fair enough. Um, I want to go on record and say that I think the PlayStation 4 is going to be a great console. I'm not denying it's going to be a great console. I just don't think they've told me enough. Titanfall. Looks really good. Looks really, really, really good. However, I'd like to see how it would work multiplayer-wise because you saw that the it's a multiplayer-only game, isn't it? No, no, no. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know. know. It can't be a multiplayer-only game. I don't know the story. There. Well, see, I thought they were showing campaign, but then it went, it's a hard point mission, and I don't know if it's a campaign is linked to your multiplayer game. That'd be really cool. Wouldn't how it? could that be? If you if you play the single-player campaign, but like every so often. It was it was part multiplayer map and it affected your story. So you so went in. So that you know, would be so Mass cool. Effect three, we had that. I think we had the multiplayer and supposedly you were the special forces team yeah. holding a point. That's why I think they should have linked it in better. It so, might it might be. But what, one thing I was saying was I don't know how it works so well online because there was a score streak and you then got to call in your titan. No, no, no I, I've watched that three or four. It's not your titan's ready after sixty seconds. That's what she says right at the start. She goes, your titan will be ready in sixty seconds. So you've got to survive. I, 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 I don't know. I okay, generally don't know. Either way. I would. I think that game would then become almost like not Chrome Rounds, but something similar. When basically everybody is in running around in Titan, should have the occasion of What's wrong with that? Big zombie yeah. robots with massive guns. Because if Fuck yes. Because then when it gets to, it gets to the case of get being destroyed, Dave. You realize it was dark. They don't die. Yeah, I, I, I watched them. Die. Yeah, I watched some guys smash two of them up. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You watch one guy take out three. But the thing is that. Because you took out one, and then you took out two more. <laughs> Wait, hey, both Brycey and Arthur just looked at me in the exact same way, at the exact same point. What? <laughs> <laughs> what did he just say? <laughs> Dave, I'm so confused. So, what is, okay, you're undecided about time. Cool. What, what are you? I, 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 want, I, want to see, I want to see more of it. Like I said, E3 is very... They showed quite a bit of that game. Yeah, they showed 
Well, they showed what they want to be seen for now. They showed gameplay. They showed 60 seconds of gameplay. That's more than that, see? Of a, of a map. It, 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 it was a good awesome. 10 minutes. Oh, I liked it enough to warn it. That's good yeah. enough. Yeah. I think what I'm interested yeah. about it is, because it's obviously Vincent Sampella, and I think it's six or seven people from the original team uh, in Infinity Wars that came from Call of Duty 4, so they know gunplay. And I said to the student that before, I said, these guys know gunplay, they know how to make a shooter. Obviously, the mechs are in it, so it's big, stompy robots, so I'm happy. And it did look slick. Um, so, Titan 4 we talked about, Battlefront we talked about, Fire, uh, Division we've talked about. Plants vs. Zombies! Oh, fuck, yeah! Z- mate! Awesome. <laughs> that game! I never liked the And it came from EA! I, say, <laughs> I, like, I never, I say I never liked the first Plants, plants vs. Zombies, but it just wasn't my type of game. Like the whole sort of yeah. like chessboardy type thing. Because you're not intelligent enough, but I get it. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's not it. I just prefer so, so fast like action, <laughs> fast paced games. Yeah. So yeah, you're not intelligent, but you just prefer things with like flashy yeah. colours and lots of yeah. run, gun, shoot things. Yeah, who says you're stupid? Um, <laughs> no, but it was it was generally a surprise, and they opened with it as well. Yeah, they, 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 it was like oh, it's going to be FIFA 17, or it's going to be. Like, it was just like but the best bit was is it just yeah. open just this part shooting yeah. and stuff, and you're like, what it's is great this? That one. And it was. It didn't look a lot. Of fun. They then went and ruined their own conference. Oh, what rapping? Not even that bit. It was just a constant sport. sport. Yeah, it was, yeah. Yeah, but this is coming from people who don't care too much for sports games. No, but wouldn't no, 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 look, look how many sales he went on they for will 10 buy. minutes about bounce tech he for did. a basketball. That's, that's true. Yeah. yeah. I know, but boring. also, this is, this is also an American based sport and it was in America so the Americans would have been laughing yeah, at no, 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 I get what you're saying this is coming from our side where we'll, we'll, we'll buy FIFA yeah, but then, if we want to maybe I will because I enjoy FIFA yeah, but FIFA's big world but if they went on for five minutes about boot tech you still would be bored as shitless I think, I th- I think they, they've they gone for the money I value they've basically gone okay we're going to divert time to buy what sells us the most amount you go right FIFA, Madden, basketball sells us a but and actually I think was it basketball because you sure that's not 2K? No, 2K showed basketball. Yeah, so just 2K so, also showed basketball. Uh, okay, so just um, that and they've got much sports sells us a shed load of money. It was it, yeah, spend... I, I I agree with you saying I know when they did it, but it was far too long. Oh god, gotcha. and even if it was still towards the American market, it was boring. Having some guy come out on stage and talk about boring in the bloody and Xbox talk about real. the passion the one... of this and the passion. It's like I don't give a fuck, mate. Do you know what? You're on stage getting paid a fat wedge of money. Your passion comes from your wallet, and I don't care. All right? They I've got some other guy from on stage who's going to rap about... Was it, what were you rapping about? Was it I don't care. Was it, oh, yeah, we also, who in their right mind thought this would be a good idea? We get someone on, on stage to rap Venice. about sport. John they, Barnes is the only person to rap about sport. In, in all right? Venice, John I fucking Barnes. I honestly didn't mind that bit. I honestly didn't mind that bit. Where they've got the beat of the bounce That's because you sang One Direction with pride. Yeah, in fairness, this is coming from a One Direction fan. Mate. Come All arguments me. you make now are void. No, no. I thought it was really clever how they've got the bounce of the ball to the beat and he just comes out okay. and says a few What has that got to do with the game? Nothing. Exactly. <laughs> so there's my whole point. How many games come out and they'll put something out advertising with it? It's got nothing to do with name it. Name right, like Messi name dribbling one. around Honestly, five I, people. I name, hang on, hang on. name one on, game. On, name one game. Are you putting yeah. me on the spot now? <laughs> <laughs> hang on. I'm waiting. I need it was two the, days to think about it. It was the equivalent of a Da Vinci... Aftershave advert. <laughs> oh, here's a car driving through some ice cream with some clouds in the sky and a man on a horse riding a woman who is just like a pony. It is advertising Givenchy for women who like men who like women just as horses like men. It's shit. It had nothing to do with the game. Rubbish. You could have done that entire 15, 20 minute section in about five seconds. Could have showed more of... They could have just put the right, battle thing on loop. New oh, games. <laughs> got new had, games. Okay, Polish gameplay. Looks better. New teams done. I We're doing NBA, I mean, NFL, and FIFA soccer. That's what I was going to say. They had like four MMA fighters on there. Okay? And I was thinking, Happy fight! Happy fight! Happy fight! I, I don't watch that. You know the bounce <laughs> tech thing? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. The bounce tech thing. Right, you go, right, this is how four bounces. And look, we've copied that exactly. Go, right, this is the bloke. Family thing. thing. Let's get four blokes. No, but what? Think about it. Think about it. Watch me punch this man in his face. Bam! Now see how it works in the game. Exactly the same. That, I'd have watched that. Yeah, exactly. great. However, I also thought that. EA did their better sports coverage of the basketball with the bounce thing. Oh, God, oh, no, God. no, I thought they did it better than what it, uh, 2K did. But they had the actual guy talking, and then the, bar- <laughs> the animated oh, bar- that player was talking. Horrific. And they talk, and they look like each other almost, nearly not at no, all. So, yeah. It was, it was, it was, it was really creepy. Really it was the same as me. That. I was like, I was like, I was like the, the computer generated one, one, had a small stroke. 
Because his lips were moving at a different movement to his face. It was horrific. Yeah, it wasn't the best tech demo I'd seen. I think, I think the concept of that could have worked well With had a better they tech demo. done it better yet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right, so, so that's what we've got. So we've got some of the games. Any games we've missed off? No. I think we should move off the whole topic of E3. Okay. Everything is E3 currently. Yeah, but th- well, and there's going to be so many opinions flying around. Oh, no, I know. Well, that's the idea in a podcast, isn't it? It's, um, oh, yeah, I, I know. But So what, what else are we talk about? Sequels to games we want to see. No, that's really stupid. No, it's not. Because there's only one game I'm looking forward to. No, no, yeah, which is already being made. Hairstyler 17. We're saying <laughs> games that you would like to see a sequel to. Or a, or an Interactive idea. Mirror 4. Or an Who's idea. pretty? You are, Bryce. <laughs> you are the prettiest Bryce I have seen today. <laughs> or an idea of a game that you would like to see. Rome 2 Total War. I would, like, I would like to see, right? Everyone's going to laugh. You know, it's going to go, it's gone again, right? But I want to see... Uh, a next generation game like, so straight, not any game any you, game you want to see XCOM I want to say it's, 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 it's the easiest way I can relate to it whereby it used like you, it, both consoles are going to social media right I want to see a game where it fully interacts with that and says right okay the game creates a Facebook page for argument's sake and your friends can sign up to it okay so they, they, all, they all sign up and when you load up the game it immediately pulls that data from Facebook and then in that game are your their, their, place, their faces are put on the, on the um, the characters, their names are in there, stats are in there. It uploads information to them from them. And the reason I pick XCOM because it's really easy one to, to pick. Is like, so immediately you, you do your recruits list, and there you are. There's Bradley, there's David, there's Alan, all my lists. All their character models have their faces mapped onto them. And when you go on a mission, you get notified by Facebook. You can talk to each other. That's the sort of stuff I want to see the next gen do. I want to see it push beyond, break the full fall, so it, it interacts with people more. So like when I watch Killzone on PlayStation 4 and the guy gets scanned, I would love to see the eye toy scan your face. So it's immediate. You can yeah, so populate, yeah. populate your crew. Yeah, with the friends and family. If that so, should be a bit bad for me because I just have a big. Let's, let's, yeah, yeah, but, yeah, but less on, less on a predefined. Yeah, but even more so, though, less, the, how much emotional contact would you have if. If it's my family, you'd be like, kill them! Yeah, but if it's, a game, kill if it's a game where you have to make a choice. Oh my god, my mum messed up a mission, goes to stab in the throat. <laughs> well, <laughs> okay. you know that you say that, but yeah, that'll but, happen. Oh yeah, but you can't break. No, oh, we go. <laughs> no, it won't. Right, that's, that's, that'll happen in Mark. If you're right, in, in Mark, but in fairness, that's what I want to see from games. I want to see beyond so the console. So it's not necessarily a single game, but you want to see all games breaking you know, beyond. I want to see. Oh kind God, of like XCOM. We, but, yeah, go on. But you do sort of like you do a run through yourself, but it generates your decisions in game. Into somebody's multiplayer game, where they have to hit specific objectives and go down specific routes that you've set. And it'll do like best of three, and it'll give you so the real time feedback of whether or not your plan has actually so worked. You tell your squad what to do, and then p- other people are genuinely the people playing in that yeah. squad. And how well jump, they yeah. do is to your next strategy. So you can pick like commander mode, or you can pick. I genuinely quite like that idea. I don't, I don't understand it. I'll be right, honest, okay, I don't so understand so it. So you have your squad, yeah. you tell them to go to this position and attack here. Yep. Actual people are then going to go and do oh, that. Oh, yes, yeah. yeah, yeah. But it's down to how well they do it as to what yeah. your the next best out of three can go. So, so, you, so you went in the mic, I'll talk about that as well as two, right? So you send out your squad, this team of six people spawn in, they're given the equipment that you've given them, they're given the armor you've given them, all that sort of bollocks, right? Yeah. So they've given it randomly. You've then gone in a pre made thing, you've gone, right, we're going to go here, we're going to check this bit, so we're going to go here, and here, and here, result. Here, yeah. And then just so it's not some random idiots you get. <laughs> It'll be the best out of three. You'll give it to three different games online because a lot more people will be playing that than everything else. Yeah, and then you get real time feedback. If it went well, get the bonus and everything. If it didn't, no. so you, and then your campaign changes to fit yes. the results. Well, oh, I like that idea. Like, I, 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 I quite like yeah. it. It's also bringing in, if you like first person shooters, you'll go play it. But you like, like you, games. you like that, and it's bringing a two different kind like of things together. Because I've seen you talk about Fed Up and I was spending a lot of time in XCOM. But what I would like to have is something like XCOM. Where you create an army with your friends. So you have your squad, okay, but that is your squad in a bigger army. And you collectively, so you like, you vote on like where to go. So you know, like on XCOM, you choose, no, you have to go to France. Yeah, no, you, you have to choose France, UK, or wherever. Yeah, yeah. Your, your army. So you have, like a battle, you have like a battle line and you say, right, okay, right, I'm gonna, and we're yeah. going to go here. So you vote and all of you go, right, we're going here, bang, you go there. And then you have your individual squads. So the great idea, so the great thing is, you all go into the same battle, and you can all see each other's squads moving forward and attacking with them. So you can flank with a full right. squad, and like that. But you can also see your your friend's squads get completely wiped out, and their squad <laughs> still gets wiped out. See, I like this because I, I I was talking about this game. So I can't remember who it was I was talking to, but the game was very very simple. What you both said it was like 
imagine the best way is like, imagine a space strategy. One of you is like uh, the commander of a, of a fleet, so you're doing like real time uh, moving your ships around, and you've got like four or five, four or five other people on your ship, um, which are the gunners, and they manage the shields as the ships getting hit. On the flip side of that, you're also organising um, fighters to go on and, and take different ships, but they're actual people playing the game. Yeah, yeah. Galactica, yeah, so they're, they're, they're actually playing the game. So they're the fighters fighting and they're, they're giving you real time information. On the flip side, you're also boarding ships. So you send a ship over to board their command ship and it's it's based on tickets. So you're like, right, well, you've got, you're boarding that ship. You're, it's a frigate uh, boarding a cruiser. So the frigate's got less tickets than the cruiser, whatever it's going to be. And then they fight and you can take it. all that. Sort of, and I'd love to see that all happening as one big amalgamated game. So you've got three different game types, but everyone affected like what Eve are doing right now because obviously we just saw a trader yesterday about EVR, Eve, EVR where you've got Eve doing their spaceship strategy trading shit EVR which is like space simulation and then you've got obviously Dust 515 uh, which is fantastic for PlayStation again this is what I'm saying I'm not hating PlayStation but PlayStation made big strides um, where you've got the first person people doing like a battlefield style game but depending on which factions in orbit they get to call an audience so that's what I want to see that's where I want to see gaming going like, broaden the horizons Broaden the genres and then broaden the people that are playing the game. Right, I want to give out my... i got two. There's one game that I want to see a sequel to, and a game that I'd like to see made. Okay. The sequel, I want to see another The Getaway. Yeah. PlayStation yeah. 2, that was one of my most favourite games. It was The Getaway and then The Getaway Black Monday. And both Black Monday story was better, modes, in, my, in my opinion. See, I like the story mode in the first one. The story mode about how... Uh, I've forgotten the guy's name. Something Hammond. And your wife's been murdered and your child's been kidnapped, and you need to go and do these missions for these guys just to get your, your daughter back. Yeah. And it was just so well done. It is one of the only games where I genuinely enjoyed free roaming. Although, although Brian <laughs> did call it right. If you did an rendition of London, you would just sit in traffic the entire time you were playing the game. <laughs> yeah, the dullest game ever. Until you so, got the uh, Ken Livingston congestion charge upgrade, in which case you'd be okay. You could just buy a Boris bike. A Boris bike? <laughs> <laughs> the Boris bike microtransaction. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, that, that's the sequel I want to see. Yeah, and the and game, game I want to see made now is I want to see a good World War II sh shooter made now for next gen. I want a game that World War II shooter just looks amazing, has a real grittiness to it. And I, has I, a great yeah, I agree with you. That's think, what I want to see. I think now. what it is is people got bored of, and it sounds like they're doing a massive disservice to obviously the people that fought in World War II, and it's not about that, it's about obviously gamers just like what they like. I think people got bored with that setting, and so when when COD Four came out, it was so refreshing because it was a modern setting. People were just like, I think oh, wow. it was also because it was done badly. Because if you remember COD no, One, no, 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 David, yeah, COD David, 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 you've just you just COD Four was not done just, badly. You're just picking on COD. No, 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 no. In general, COD World War Two games. No, no, World War Two games. They had gone on for longer than World War Two. So there had been games based on World War Two. For approximately thirteen to fourteen still years. Still, World War Two games coming out now, but like yeah, I know what I'm saying is that the, the mass public got bored of them. Me. That's why it immediately jumped to Modern Warfare, and I think again, Modern Warfare we've been doing now for about eight years. So people are like, you know I what? I'm bored. I want to go back. Oh, which I want to see. And Call of Juarez has done it well, right? The new one. I want to see a really good first-person Western game, right? With all the destructible scenery, because obviously I know destructible scenery is a, is a big issue because people break maps. If you set it in World War in, in the Wild West, there's not many guns that can like ruin a map. But imagine a bar fight where woods getting blown the fuck out of and the bottles are getting smashed. That'd be amazing. World War uh, World War Two games great. Western games, man, that's where so much fun could be had. In fact, it's why I actually like to see sequel two. Would actually be uh, Medal of Honor because in fairness, I don't think fuck off, one. Dave. Medal of Honor. Yep. Anyway, no, no, that's what I'm saying. It was I, terrible. No, no. Go away, Dave. Go away. I, do you know what? I support that game. I was with you on it. The game was terrible. You're not listening to what I'm it. saying. You're not listening to what I'm saying. I say I'd like to see a sequel to Medal of Honor, not Medal of Honor Warfighter, because I don't think they've actually made a sequel to Medal of Honor. They've made it. They tried to make it too much like Battlefield. You, you even admit the it Medal was of Honor. Battlefield. Yeah. Oh, bad. The Medal of Honor franchise, unfortunately, has is dead. They've um, killed it for the meantime. No, it's, it's, they no, no, it's, it's dead. It's dead in the water, mate. They killed it. It's dead, mate. It's dead in the water. Um, I liked Medal of Honor. Uh, PS2 and you start and yeah well we, we don't care anymore um, so oh. that's games we want to see and games types we'd like to they see were, they, were good, they were good World War 2 games Dave we're off, we're off World War 2 now we're, we're stopping World War 2 because mm -hmm. I can see how excited you're getting and fairness I'm fairly certain you're harboring a massive erection right now I, I, this may be a stupid thing and I may not have just heard it anywhere does anyone actually know how much you're going to be charged if you buy a used game no no, so no nobody no, actually knows no, how much because you're going to be charged so the companies could turn around and say 
you're getting the game for half what it should be new, and we're only going to charge you, say, £5 to play it. Yeah. So nobody actually knows no, no, no. what you're going for. I, I think the reason behind the whole Microsoft so, debacle is because everything's happening behind closed doors with publishers, and those conversations are still going on, and we'll go on until... Yeah. Right up to launch date and until publishes the big houses. Yeah, even when everything's agree. going on, it will no, yeah. never be. Why don't you see car companies do it? You <laughs> <laughs> can only sell your car once. <laughs> that would be brilliant. Right. So, Roger, up to you. what I wanted to say with the DRM, okay? Right, you know the massive screw up that happened with um, SimCity, okay? <laughs> What I don't get is, like, okay, no, God, today is a PC based game and it's not console. Same principle, I Yeah, okay, right. You're, you're why, right. I'm, why I'm, I'm, actually, that... I'm actually going to stop you. Because you're going to do what everyone does and paint DRM in a bad light there. Yeah. 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 Actually, the best thing about the SimC DRM thing was? Is this means that, that they're going to do it again. What? They ain't going to fuck up on that again. No, no, this that is ain't going to happen. Okay. No, I, I was literally saying... the best thing that could have happened for this next how many game. Games, how many games have you used DRM successfully? I'm just curious because you say SimC is a bad example. Are there good examples of DRM? Yes, this is what I uh, just yeah. said earlier on. I said no, publish, no. publishers love it, and okay, look at DRM for um, MMORPGs like Defiance. Yep, that is DRM because it enables you to patch it quickly, enables you to update it quickly, and I agree with that. What I'm saying is the reason why I didn't like it with SimCity is that is a game that is classically played offline solo. Play, yeah, yeah. Oh, now, yeah. Again, get you've got it. The now I've got c- about at least four or five friends who have said I will buy that game as soon as they make it DRM or it gets cracked. Because they said I want. Well, to see, you know what, right? You and your friends are the worst sort of people. Now, I'll be honest. <laughs> I know. I'm telling you. I'm telling you right now, right? Yeah, You're the I'm same people agree. that moan about they're not being smaller companies, they're not being this, they're not being that, right? If you're going to sit there and you're going to pull apart a game, and you don't like it, then you know what I say to you people: go out and make your own fucking game, all right? Because in fairness, right, those companies have spent a lot of money and have employed a lot of people to make those games, all right? And for you to expect so to buy one game. And then to give it to 20 or 30 other people. No, 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 you're talking about DRM, right? Yeah. You're going to crack it and whatever. No, How is no, that no. fair? I want to get out a game once it's been cracked and I can play it offline. That's what you just said, yes. right? So you want to break someone's game and not pay for it because you won't be buying it at retail. No, 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 that's the thing. I don't care. I was saying, I was, I've, I'm not saying me personally. I said I was happy to buy SimCity until I learned, and a couple of my friends also, until I learned you cannot just play it offline. You can't, you have okay, to. Okay, but then that's your choice. And they've given you a choice, and they've said to you, "Don't buy the game." Then, so there's my argument with you, right? You you live in this world where you have you have the freedom of speech and the freedom of choice. You don't want the game, and you don't agree with it. Don't buy it. Don't sit there and bemoan it and say, "You know, what I'm going to do. I'm going to crack it and then ruin that company because I'm not going to pay for that game. I'm going to crack that code and give it to everybody else online. So everyone's playing that game, and no one's making any money. And then they close, and everyone goes, "Oh, isn't it shown that Max is closed? They weren't a great company. Oh, it's all EA's fault. Actually, no, fuck you. It's your fault." Because you cracked their game and you fucking sold it online for nothing. I would have bought SimCity. I would have bought SimCity. I would have bought SimCity. I would have bought it. Off by the fact it was SimCity. I bought it. It's a great game. <laughs> I got bored. Don't play anymore. SimCity. Don't buy it. But did you, okay, talking about the... In talk- fairness, SimCity had a huge amount of problems that was nothing to do with DRM. Did you hear about Yeah, it was, the- it was broken. What are you doing? Did you hear about the... Um- the, I think it's Green Leaf Gaming. They're actually talking about pirating and stuff like that. They actually released two versions of their game. Oh, we're, we're, we're moving it to different, different subjects. All I'm saying is, you can't have. I said it to start and I said it on Twitter. And I said, anyway, you, I don't give a shit. You can come at me with whatever you want about your pre owned and all that sort of stuff, right? You can't have your cake and eat it. Why can't. not? I've never understood this phrase. Okay. I, I, brought brought the same, cake, I brought the same thing up. If I okay. brought a cake, yeah. I want to be able to download eat that cake okay, that eat I it. paid for. Okay, eat it, but then don't expect it to still be there. I've still got it. It's just you me. Yeah. Ah, uh, now I get the meaning of the phrase. Yes. What? Well, you mean you can't... It should be you, you can't, can't eat have... your cake and still have it. What is this? Yeah, instead of... Okay, yeah. Now. Right. You can't eat your cake and then still have your cake there. Right. right. That, that makes sense. Yeah, that makes a That's lot of sense. That's like you don't have to like... I'm dealing with actual retards. Right. Well, why so... are you the other way? What are you, fucking Yoda? Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> what type of cake are we talking here? Yeah. <laughs> the cake is a lie, man. Yeah, so... Oh, from the, the project is The cake though. is a figment of your imagination. Well, this is the world's longest podcast. Yeah, well, we're going to edit it down. Hopefully. <laughs> Just seven right, look, seconds. basically, what we're saying is, well, what I'm saying is, E3 has left, has left a division where people, there are different sorts of thought processes in regards to E3. Good. There are those that believe that what Mike's doing are totally wrong and it's basically stifling the industry. There are those that believe that it's the right thing to do and it's the only way to grow the industry. And um, all we can say, all I can say is, 
if you're a gamer, go with what you feel is right. Don't listen to other people. You're the gamer. You're the guy or girl that's going to know what games you want to play and how you're going to want to play them. So if you like your games offline or you, that, uh, uh, the games that were announced, then go with your, your PlayStation or your Xbox. Don't listen to other people because ultimately it's your money. I don't um, agree with that. Give me money. I'll tell you what to buy. Yeah, or you can give Bryce a load of money and he can tell you what to buy. And that's that's my final statement. Um, any, anyone else want to say any, a final statement that's short? When the Xbox One was revealed and the PlayStation 4 did their early sort of reveal mm-hmm. consoles, I was like, great, now I can't wait to see E3. Now yeah. E3's been, I can't wait for it to be released. Okay. I, I'm happy with what I've seen. You really have Bryce, presentation. Closing statement is quick. Dave's an idiot, brilliant, stupid air. Brilliant. Dave, <laughs> closing statement is quick. <laughs> Done it. Brilliant. Yeah, okay, well, that's it. Okay. I literally just did it. <laughs> okay, I have no idea how the fuck we're going to edit this down. Well, I'm not. I'm going to give it to Bradley because he doesn't no, do any work at Rebellion. No. Uh, it's an hour and 44 minutes, so we'll see how much we cut out of this when you get this final podcast. Um, thank you for joining us. It's been the first one we've done for about two, three months. Yeah. Um, so stay tuned. There will be more. Um, thanks a lot. See you later. Bye-bye. Hi, guys, and welcome to a special edition of No Fighting in a War Room. War Room. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, let's start again!